Hey guys, it's Gio from Smart Home Makers. Today I went out and bought a bunch of Zigbee devices from Lidl. I'm going to open them, unbox them, install the app, try and integrate them all and try to give you my first impressions of these products. These products are dirt cheap. I spent over £80 for two light strips, one E14 bulb, a gateway, a smart plug. So that's quite a lot compared to the competitors. So these devices should be able to connect to any Zigbee gateway. So you don't need to buy their own gateway. But I'm buying the gateway now just to get it all working until those manufacturers and software developers have got all the integrations working. I'm fingers crossed for Home Assistant integration soon. <music> Okay, so we're ready for the unboxing now. First one we're gonna unbox is the Smart Gateway, and then we'll unbox all the separate products. We'll try to pair them into the app, and we'll see how it all works. Okay, so let's get right straight into it. Let's open the box up. First thing to note, this is Zigbee, Zigbee 3.0. Opening up the, uh, it's a Silvercrest brand, the little brand. Very lightweight, we've got the LAN port, the power port in on the wall, the little feet. So that's quite good. Like this uh, little effect. Let's put this to the side. I've got a little booklet here. So I'm gonna put up the specs here now and uh, so you can read through them with ease. Let's open up. So we've got this box quite here with the power brick. So I'm in the UK, so I've got a uh, power brick here. It's not that big, it's quite small, which is quite good. So hopefully it's not gonna be in the way too much. And we've got the USB cable white, so matching color. Um, let's see the length of the cable. It's not too bad. So let's get it all wired up. All being connected up now. So let's go to the app and see if we can add this gateway in. So after signing up and registering, now it's time to start adding some devices in. So if I click add device, and let's look for gateway. So tap on the gateway. So reset the device first. So ensuring, so we need to ensure that the mobile phone and the gateway are linked to the same network and green indicator is on. So let's just say confirm. So we're connecting up to the device and let's see if it all works. Fantastic, so as you can see now from the screen, we've got Zigbee gateway, we've got a plus sign, so it's adding devices. Sure the Wi-Fi signal is good, let's let it scan for a while. Done, done. So that was quite straightforward. It's a tap on done. It's uh, loading up. Fantastic. So we, there's a new firmware ready to go. So while that's installing, I'm going to unbox the other devices. So smart plug is all good. It's just got a little bit damaged in uh, transport, but it was brand new in the store. So this is Zigbee compatible and works with Google. So the cool thing with these devices that down the line, once software developers have sort of created integrations, we'll be able to integrate these without the actual gateway and the actual hub, which is the most exciting part of this uh, of these gadgets. So just to give you an idea, I paid this seven pounds ninety nine in the UK. Uh, we've got voice control with Google, the Google Assistant, standard functions around uh, timers, countdown functions, auto on and off. Uh, we've got a button for pairing and switching off the manual you can see that i mentions here some sort of more more detail it's using zigbee and we've got a free year warranty like all the other devices so let's just get this box open potentially it can just damage it are we here there you go aha so we've got a big button here okay it's good clicking sound uh, that's not, not too bad, it's quite compact. Um, it looks smaller than a TP-Link that I reviewed very recently. Here's a close-up of all of the details here. So what I'll do is I'll just plug this in the wall and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so you can see it here at the wall compared to a normal plug socket. I've got this uh, child protector thing and I won't be able to close it with this smart plug in. If we look here, we can see this blinking uh, LED, probably because it needs pairing. So what I might do now is I'll move this into here and see if it works without actually pairing anything. 
so just to test this out the light is off and if I turn this on the light comes on and I can turn it off so we're going to tap add so the first thing we need to do we need to look at the uh, power on status hold the reset button for five seconds so let me go and do that okay so I can see now it is flashing good so I'm confirming it is flashing now and let's see if it'll get picked up okay socket we've added the device say done I'm not renaming anything now just for the sake of the video okay so we've got the added devices we've got the socket and we've got a big button here power on and power off so powering off power on I'll just prove that to you so we've got my uh, softbox here powers off powers on next up in the series is the smart led light strip now this is the one i'm most excited about it's a two meter light strip it costs 14 pounds 99 it's got over 16 million colors and white light tones we've also got the 3m adhesive tape and a 10 centimeter connection cable we've got three years of warranty with this product and it's got a total consumption of 22 watts so let's open it up and let's see all the details okay ready aha uh -huh. okay this looks good looks nice okay so we've got our led light strip here these little velcro pieces keeping it all together so let's put this to one side in here we have two boxes first box we have okay so this is the adapter with adhesive tape at the back so you can stick that to the wall this uh, is the connector which you connect to your LED like this like so and this goes to your power brick I assume this is like to extend the uh, LED strip you can only have two of these light strips so for a total of four meters with one power adapter and here now very nicely packaged and uh, all, all all quite simple but it's just fu functional in my opinion quite a lot good length here in terms of this cable and the power brick isn't that big so it's all, all quite good so let me connect it all up and let's see how it goes it's all connected up now as you can see from here and the LED strips are already on and here is the adhesive tape that you can strip back and you can fix this into the wall wherever you actually want to position this so what I'll do now I'm going to pair this into the app as usual and let's see what options we have in the app with this light strip if you're getting value out of this video as usual like and subscribe my goal is trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year now tap add and let's see what do we need to do for the let's go more so we're looking for our uh, atmosphere i think so in the power on the device power off after 10 seconds and power on to so turn on off on off on and then we need to say confirm the light bulb is now rapidly flashing it is rapidly flashing i think at this stage so i'm just going to try and see if confirm confirm it is oh that looks like it changed okay picked it up without actually me doing anything uh, so sort of it was easier than the smart plug so we can rename atmosphere i'm going to just keep it as it is done okay so we've got the other one done now so we can change the colors like this yeah you can move them up and down we can ramp up the brightness we can turn it down up and down let's see where else. so these are white we've got colors spectrum so we can change the colors look at this i really can't see any difference compared to my philips hue light strip that costs probably 80 pounds just for the light strip and you've got scenes you've got a read scene working night leisure colorful gorgeous quite cool music ah so you can use your microphone 
Now if there's any music playing, potentially this could change color. All oh, right, based on the music. I think it's doing it based on my voice now. So I'm not actually playing any music. But, oh, all right, that's really cool. So we've got a button here to turn off, turn on. That's so responsive. Look at that, I mean, so responsive. Remaining time, I can set a timer. So I can have it on maybe and turn off automatically. I can set a schedule. Oh, all good, all good. I'm happy that I bought two of these, really. I think this is gonna be a really great add-on to any smart home out there, really, to be frank. Next up is the LED light bulb. This retails for £9.99. Uh, it looks like it's got similar specs to the light strip in terms of you've got 16 million colors. Um, we've got the uh, the warm white to cool white uh, and all of the colors, dimmable. You can control with your voice, control it with your uh, smart app. We've got the dimensions of the bulb, if, um, if that's sort of something that you're interested in. 470 lumens and a 30,000 hours lifespan. I got an E14 because I'm planning to use this on my uh, lamp, but they also have GU10s with 250 lumens and E27 bulbs with 806 lumens. Uh, power consumption on this guy is 6.5 watts. Let's get this all opened up. And as all the other devices, this pairs up with the Zigbee gateway but also uh, down the line, you will, should be able to pair this up with other gateways as this uses Zigbee 3.0. This is the bulb right here. Now this will give you a comparison with the Philips Hue Lite E14. So we've got one over here, this is the Philips, and this is the uh, this is Lidl's. So it's quite a different uh, size, as you can see from the white part and the actual part that um, is giving out the light. But this, it actually is a white only model and this actually has full color spectrum and the the version the hue version with all the colors i think it's around 50 pounds so this costs only 15 uh, pounds if i'm not wrong no sorry this costs 9.99 if you have a google mini in your setup already you can actually use that to control these devices so i'm going to show you how you can do that now so after you've downloaded the little home app and you've set everything up Go into your Google Home app and let's try to integrate them together. So tap on the plus button, go to set up device. So I'm going to use works with Google. Now just search right here. So little, little home, cool. So tap that in. Let's see, probably you just need to authenticate. So it looks like we're going to a two-year two -year URL. So we need to put our phone number or email address. I'm gonna put my email address and password now. So I'll see you once I've done that. Okay, so we're saying by signing in, you're authorizing Google to access your device. So we're gonna say authorize. Okay, so we're back into the Google Home app. Little home is linked. Let's see what happens. So it's taking a little bit, a little while. Okay, cool. So we've got four devices picked up Atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. So, and this is thanks to my poor naming convention in the little app, but one is the LED light strip, two are the uh, E14 bulbs, and the socket is a socket, but because I've paired it twice, it's actually called socket two. Oh, so you can only do one at a time. Okay, so let's do one at a time then. Yes, integrating the home. Where is this device? The office. Last but not least, the socket and the socket is in the office here. Okay, it looks like it's still loading. I can see the three dots down here. So let's give it a second. Okay, so we can test the socket. So we have our uh, softbox connected into the smart plug. It's currently on, as you can see there's light. So if I turn it off, let's see if this actually turns off or not. It's a bit of a lag, it's a bit of a delay. Okay, so now it's off. So, mm, it's a bit, bit slow compared to the actual little app. Let me try again, so we've got a three, two, one on. Okay, so turning on was better. Maybe it was just a glitch because it was the first time. I'm gonna try and turn it off again. 
three, two, one, off. Okay, that's not too bad. So I can ask Google, I can say, turn socket two on. Got it, turning on socket two. Turn socket two off. Got it, turning off socket two. So let me try, turn living room lights on. So this pet is pet in the wrong room, but that's because of my naming convention and I need to sort of out. I don't understand. <laughs> so this is pet in the wrong room, but um, it is working. So now probably I just turn on all the lights in the living room downstairs, but it is, it is working-ish. I'm not sure why we have this constant three dots below uh, but you are able to if you name things properly from this get-go i can i'll probably just delete the integration and rename everything and do it all again properly and i think if you do it properly from the get-go you should be able to control all of your little devices with uh with the google app and the uh, a google mini and also through home assistant through text-to-speech so you could sort of do things in that way. Check out this playlist here. It contains the best of smart home makers. You'll find out cool videos like DIY alarm, best motion sensor, setting up Sonos, text to speech, so much content, so much content coming up. So subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below with your favorite little device. Stay safe. See you in the next video.